how relatable. Alex! You have five minutes and uh, four minutes, there will be but. <laughs> All right. So, everybody have their coffee? That's not Excited? That's two. So, let's raise your hands if you know how to use Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, PDF, send an email with PDF attachment. Come on. This goes across languages. You use Microsoft Office, send emails with PDFs, great. Now, keep, keep your hands up, keep your hands up. Keep your hands up if you know how to build a mobile-ready microsite or a website that you can send to your friends in WeChat. Uh, so I think we have about three to four percent of the original people here. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can all keep your hands up because what we're going to show you today is how you can take your documents, your PowerPoints, PDFs, your email with three attachments and four links to videos and other things, and put them together into beautiful, engaging microsites that will get your audience to pay attention. And if they're paying attention, they're making decisions. And if they're making decisions, they're doing the types of behavioral changes that you want, whether it's raising money or buying it. So that's what we do at Relating. Now, why is this interesting? Well, uh, you know, we all know that paper has been invented in China. Some of you know that actually the printing press has been invented in China uh, before it has been invented in Europe. Uh, but what's been interesting is there was one other big invention about 25 years ago. An engineer in Silicon Valley developed the PDF, the format to simplify printing. And since then, a lot of things changed. You know, we have software as a service. I used to uh, be in companies like Salesforce.com, which <coughs> created that space, and a lot of really smart software. That has changed. We're still sending out PDFs. And now we have just beautiful mobile networks and, and uh, social media sites. And we're still sending out these static paper-focused PDFs. And now there's artificial intelligence and bots everywhere. But we're still sending out these PDFs. They're static and designed for paper experiences. But we're looking at them on screens that many of you are hopefully are looking at and capturing notes. <laughs> but we're looking at them on these screens. And it's really not the experience that we think is the future. I think 20 years from now, we're all going to look at ourselves as silly people who are in this day and age sending out PDFs and hoping something would happen. So, what is the alternative if it's not the PDF? Well, I think there's still a great place for Microsoft Office, right? There doesn't, you know, it's a great authoring tool. The reason we're sending them out because we know how to do it. It's easy, it's familiar. But you can make it more interactive, that would make a difference. So what could make the document more interactive? Well, I could build a full-blown website. WordPress and something else. But I need designers, I need developers, I need skill set. It's really expensive to do that for every document that I have. And by the way, there's way more documents than there's web pages. So just because you do it once and update your website, you can't do it for every sales proposal. You can't do it for every white paper. It becomes too expensive. So that's the part on the bottom where we're trying to make stuff more interactive, but it's very expensive to do. The other alternative is there are some services. Uh, these are the ones that are popular in Europe that share the documents, and you get a little bit of analytics if somebody's looking at them. But they're not, they're same old dumb documents, they're just sent online. So what we're proposing is something that's gonna get a lot more engagement from your audience, and it's gonna get you the results that you're looking for, and it's gonna make them interactive and intelligent. And the way we do that is really in three ways for our software. First, we suck in everything, and automatically you get a beautiful website. Without doing it, you can just drag and drop a file, and boom, you have a website. You're already a web designer. Then, depending on your level of needs and sophistication, you could build all sorts of enterprise features to make it secure, or to make it highly interactive and engaging, depending on what your audience expects and what you need to. And then lastly, because you've already done it, you don't want to go and build the same thing for mobile, or build the same thing for WeChat, or for Facebook. You just have one experience, 
that you can send out across any channel where your audience is. Whether it's email or live presentation, you get it out. So that's what we call all-in-one publishing software. That's one piece of our secret sauce. But besides the software, we have a bunch of scientists from Stanford where I went to school that are helping us tune that software experience in the way that gets you results. These are neuroscientists, these are social psychologists, these are cognitive psychologists. Their job is to make sure that information goes into your head and you remember it and do something because of it. And so these are the types of researchers that help us tune this experience to get the results. And then we do some support because there's a lot of uh, discovery about your needs and some analytic services that we can do. So those are the three solutions uh, that you can buy from Relate to. Uh, the applications will matter to folks in industries like this. So if you're in professional services, uh, you know, very interesting because all you do is actually your brand is really seen through your documents, right? You can pay really nice office buildings, which is great, but if your documents don't look great, you're not being congruent. Uh, and you know this applies to investor relations and other things. A couple of things about the team. It is the most global and the most motivated team I've ever worked with, and I've been fortunate to have been in great companies in Silicon Valley. Nikita is our CTO here, helping out with the, with the presentation. Uh, but uh, well, one thing that we've done very differently is we actually have somebody already in Japan and China who's driving the development of the product for that market because we want to be mobile first for real. And we think China is one of the few markets where because of WeChat, B2B relationships are built in mobile only and mobile first environment. So that's our uh, people strategy. You could see some of the examples of customers that we work with. We know that Chinese companies like to think big. So things big like Hyperloop and NASA are some of the early adopters of our technology. And so people that are not afraid of big projects, we welcome. Uh, we are not looking for investments, but we are working with many accelerators that um, portfolio companies of theirs are being, um, um, are being using our system and they're using us. So we're endorsed by many of the, the tech accelerator companies and we by designer companies. Uh, you can follow up on WeChat. I started this business to leave a legacy for my family. Uh, to make sure that I could say, hey, we've done something amazing and show that example to my kids. And uh, I hope that you will join us in the journey of building the next generation of things that go beyond paper, that has a Chinese <coughs> footprint and stamp on it. Thank you very much for your attention. You can follow on the related page. One thing that they said is don't present live documents or live experiences. This is live. This is all unrelated. Uh, so you can see the actual presentation. It's a website. We can share it with you. And you can see additional materials if you're interested. Any question for, for Alex? So who would be interested in uh, evaluating this for your business right now to, to get more revenues for your business or to get better communication? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is great. This is, uh, this is, this is, this is, this is we have the interpreter.